Do you think he cares one way or another if Jimmy Garoppolo is on the 49ers? He does. I, th- I think that. that he does. Explain so that. I think this is probably the most overlooked section of that whole interview. And it was right, I believe it was right before him and Sherman were going back and forth as far as where they were going to land in free agency. And Sherman asked him, does having a quarterback in place matter to you as far as where you go? This is the first time in your career that you technically can pick your own quarterback. And he said, well, yeah, I mean, it matters. Those teams that have a quarterback in place that are ready to start week one, those are the teams that are ready to contend. Mm -hmm. And if you have a quarterback in place, then you're not rebuilding. So that told me it absolutely matters. And it almost makes me wonder if this is why the 49ers are slow playing the Garoppolo situation, because they want to make sure that they have a quarterback in place that's ready to start week one, then Trent can sign. And once Trent signs, now they can make their move. (laughs) Because that's not underhanded at all. But I like that. That makes total sense. Uh, Because it's like you want to get rid of Jimmy Garoppolo now, create the cap space. But you create the cap space. You also create a void at quarterback. And it's going to be hard to sign free agents onto a team with no quarterback. I mean, they're not going to look at you as a contender. So you create cap space you almost can't use or you're using on like second and third tier for tier free agents. That makes sense. I mean, all is fair in love and war. If Trent isn't going to re-sign with you based off of merits and you kind of reviving his career and you taking care of him, well, fair is fair. I mean, we can pull out the rug too. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Michael Jolly says, let Trent walk, sign Riley Reef, who only allowed one sack last season in a quality guard or center. What do you think of that? I think it's a great plan. I, I like Riley Reef, But he did come from a Minnesota Vikings line that wasn't necessarily the best. So I, I don't know. Uh, there's guys that are out there. I'm also in the belief that letting Trent walk would not be the worst thing because I'm, I'm there's with- so much money that you can spend in other places. I'm with you there. But it seems like Trent Williams is in the inner click. If Kyle Shanahan plays favorites and has a click, he's in that. He's like the president of it. And I do believe that the 49ers have made a, probably a very good offer. But it's Trent Williams hasn't accepted it yet. So he's waiting around for someone to beat it. And I think someone will. Don't you think someone will? Yeah, somebody will definitely be, beat it. The question that I have with Trent is how much does he hold true to that comment of – being on a team that's ready to compete because if the jets go out and they offer you more or the Jaguars come out and offer you more, is that really the team that you want to go to? That's the question that I have. So I I want to see how much he really wants to compete versus how much he really wants to get paid. And the other thing that was interesting, I have my suspicions. I I do too. I do too. Yeah. I the other thing that was interesting to me is he says he wants to play until possibly he's 40. He thinks he can do it. He's watching Whitworth over in Mm. Los Angeles, and he's saying, I can do that. That's a smart thing for a 33-year-old tackle Mm -hmm. who missed a season to say. God, if I were his agent, I wish I would have thought of that. It's like, this is brilliant. (laughs) Say that. (laughs) Just say it. Maybe. It would be great. But uh, I feel like Joe Staley felt that way at one point, and then you get injured at 36, and you're like, "Uh uh-oh. Is this going to affect me the rest of my life? Let me make some serious choices. Uh, yeah, but great. Hey, if they can get Trent Williams and he can, and they give, he gives them some, some sort of like a little bit of a break. Wonderful. I just, I'm cynical. I think he's saying the right thing, trying to get Niner fans hopes up, trying to put a little pressure on the organization. And ultimately he'll go into like Indy or Vegas or the Jets. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't think his ego will allow him to play right tackle it on the Jets because no. Mekhi Becton ain't moving, but no. he could. Go some, he could go somewhere like the Chiefs if they have the, the cap space for it. Maybe. Yeah, don't. I'm not too worried about the Chiefs. I don't think they can clear that kind of cap, but there there are other options for sure. 